Yo, what is up? Welcome to Marco's Modern Life. It's your boy Mar. We are back with another video. It is Saturday. It's release day for the Air Jordan 1 UNC toes. Now, your boy, I was able to hit on the shock drop that happened two, three weeks ago. So, I already got a review up of the Air Jordan 1 UNC toe. So, if you haven't checked out that video, make sure check out that video for me. Give it a like. You know what I mean? Because it's a dope shoe. It's definitely a dope shoe. And the Air Jordan 1 UNC toe was something I thought, you know, I would double up on and I'm still considering it. I'm still considering it. Right now it's early. It's it's 817, so the drop hasn't happened. I actually did hit a pair at uh finish line. So I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna pick it up or not, if I wanna kind of use that money for something else, if I or if I really just want to go ahead and double up on this sneaker but today we're going to take another look at that shoe kind of talk about it and then also i have another pickup of a model that i think is slept on i think this is a slept on colorway it's a it's a slept on sneaker model you don't really see people picking these up which is crazy to me because it's the one before the one but man i think they're dope i have bought one pair and I just fell in love with them so I'm happy to add another pair of these to my collection and we'll take a look at that and I actually got them for under retail they were on sale so I'm excited about that as well but before we get into all that make sure to like the video that helps us get out in the algorithm so we can continue to grow and live out our dreams if you're in a dope sneaker content from a true sneaker head make sure to subscribe to the channel on the road to 3k make sure to leave a comment let me know if you're going after the air jordan 1 unc toe if you took a w if you took an l if you're sitting it out leave a comment i'm interested to know who's going after them and who's not and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any other content that we drop but let's go ahead and get into it first we're going to start with the air jordan 1 unc toe I know we already took a look at this shoe, but real quick, since it's releasing today, and in case I don't get a pickup vlog out, definitely just want to take a look at it. You see we got the box, size 13, my personal size. We're not going to spend too much time on it since we've already taken a look at this sneaker here on the channel. And here we have them, um, the Air Jordan 1 UNC Toe. And I am really interested to see how this release goes. I'm really interested to see how the release goes, if they sell out, if they sit, because man, it just seems like the hype for Air Jordan 1s is over, especially if these sit, because we all know a few years ago, ain't no way these would sit and they would be going for what? At least $250, $300, but man, we know times have changed <laughs> and if these sit, man, I, I'm going to be shocked. So I did see the stock numbers for these. There's, hundred, I think, 123,000 men's pairs dropping on the Sneakers app. So hopefully if you're going after them on Sneakers app, you can take a W. It's, it's a nice shoe. It's a nice colorway. Really well done. I think they did a fantastic job with these. Quality on my pair is good. No issues, anything like that. And it's a UNC colorway. You really can't go wrong with a UNC colorway, in my opinion. They just hit every time. But yeah, these are dope. These are dope. So if you're going after these today, good luck to you. Hopefully you can secure your pair. Hopefully there's no quality issues or anything like that on your pair. And man, it's just a, it's a dope release. It's a dope shoe. In my opinion, they are double up worthy. They definitely are double up worthy. But do I want to spend that money again? on the same shoe, I, that's something I gotta decide and we'll see. If you see a pickup vlog, you know I decided to go ahead and spend that money to double up. If you don't see a pickup vlog, you know your boy didn't double up and I, I decided to just keep the one pair. But that's not the shoe that I really wanna show you guys today because we have already seen that. I have another pickup that I got and in my opinion, man, these are dope and this model they're really comfortable too now i have one pair another pair of these which is the white and pine green and i love that shoe i love how it looks i love how comfortable it is so when i saw these on i believe i got them through feature when i saw these on feature with a 
like 30% off I had to jump on them because I was already looking for these anyway but I got them I think retail on these is 140 I got these for like hundred seven dollars so here we have the box it's a blacked out box which is dope I love when they switch up the boxes and you see it's that Jordan 1 style box but it is all blacked out you see we have the size 13 my personal size of course and the colorway for these bad boys is summit white gun smoke summit white gun smoke on the colorway we peel the top off we got the white paper and here we have the sneaker which is the nike airship white and gun smoke and man and these you know a lot of people say they probably remind them of like the neutral gray runs which i could definitely understand but this is the one before the one the airships we all now we really are accustomed to this story and we've heard it so the actual sneaker that was banned you know that michael jordan was rocking and the nba banned the sneaker wasn't the jordan one it was the airship that he was rocking that was banned and man these are just beautiful look they got that rough suede there on the collar nike air on the back right there they also got that they calling this the gun smoke got that rough sway on that nike check as you can see over here as well it's got nice flat leather it's not a tumble leather it's a flat leather but it does look really good we got that vintage look on the tongue to where that tongue is kind of yellowed there Man, I just really dig these. I really think these are dope. Really was happy to get my hands on these. Like I said, I wanted this sneaker. And I was planning on just paying resale for it. Which, you know, resale actually wasn't that far off from retail. But I got an alert uh, from Sneaker Twitter, I think it was, uh, that they had these on feature and they actually had a 30% off code. So, your boy took advantage of that. I jumped on it really quickly and was able to secure my size 13 also you can see we got a spare set of laces the gray laces they come with white laces in the sneaker and I'll, i'm just going to leave the white laces in there i think that looks better on the inside we got the white with that gun smoke or that great jump man in there very simple sneaker but it's something that i'm going to get some good wears out of i really like the airship model man i really feel like i need to go back and get like all of these <laughs> because i think it's dope man i think they are so nice i mean it just looks vintage it looks cool and you know they're kind of this and jordan ones i mean they're pretty similar right pretty similar but if i'm being honest man i don't know i think these the i think these stack up to jordan ones man and the comfort on them at least from the pair I got, the comfort on them is really nice. So I just, I had to have them. Definitely had to have them. I also want to go back and get the white and North Carolina blue, the every game ones. I'm definitely keeping those on my radar. I might have to make that purchase sometime soon. But yes, I just definitely wanted to show you guys the Nike Airship, uh, the white and gun smoke. Definitely a nice sneaker. Pull the other one out. And now there's no quality issues. Uh, that I noticed or anything like that. The leather's pretty consistent. It's really nice on them. But yeah, it's a nice, simple shoe that I'm definitely going to get my money's worth. Especially because I paid like 100 what, 110 I think with shipping, it came out to like $110. See, in the inside, it does say the size in there. So you see the 13 on there. Gun smoke around there. I just love the materials. I love this this suede that they put on it it's just really nice gosh it's just really it's a dope sneaker and tell me if you guys own a pair of airships man because people seem to sleep they sleep on these and in my opinion it's a, it's a really dope sneaker so i'm glad i could get my hands on it glad i could get them for under retail as well you see the bottom there we got more of the gray on the bottom i know today most people are going to be you know looking for these the air jordan one unc toes hopefully you can get your hands on a pair but man, these right here, really nice. Definitely glad I could get them. So yeah, and you see, man, it's a lot of similarities in the in the Airship and the Jordan 1. I rock with both of them. I rock with both of them. <laughs> you see, we got differences like on the toe box. 
You know what I'm saying? The toe box is different. You know what I'm saying? There's differences, but there's a lot of similarities between the two of them. Can't go wrong with either one of them. So if you're copping these today, good luck to you. I hope you get your pair. And maybe if you get online, you may still be able to find some of these either for retail or maybe on sale. But man, I think it's worth it. If you've been thinking about copping the airship, I say do it. It's a dope model. They are actually extremely comfortable to me. And you can't go wrong with the colorways that they're coming out. They got some really good colorways in the sneaker. But yeah, and it's a piece of history. It's like the one before the one, like I said. And man, you just can't go wrong with it. It's got that vintage looking vibe to them. Definitely an 80s kind of style to it. it. Looks really retro, but still it's sleek and it still looks kind of modern as well. So I just don't think you can go wrong with these. I don't think you can go wrong with them. Yeah, but let me know how you guys feel about these. Let me know if you're going after the Air Jordan 1 UNC toes today. Good luck to everybody trying to cop a pair. I hope everybody who wants a pair gets one. We know they talked about they had so many of these, like 600K or something like that. So it seems like everybody should be able to take a W on them. And hopefully that's the case. Still considering if I'm going to double up or not. But stay tuned. You'll see. If this video drops today and not a pickup vlog, you know I decided not to double up. So... Man, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Make sure, like the video. Like I said, that helps us get out in the algorithm so we can grow and live out our dreams. If you're in a dope sneaker content from a true sneaker head, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Leave a comment. Let me know if you went after these bad boys right here. Let me know if you're feeling these bad boys right here. And if you have a pair of airships, man. But I appreciate you guys for tuning in. That's all we got. It's your boy, Mar. I am checking out. Stay blessed. Live your life. Peace.